This session we'll take a look at working with custom registration marks for Simple Steps Smart Rip 4.0. This is one of our new features. You can now use your own or create your own custom registration marks for your separations. And we have our default registration marks in Simple Steps. We've had a lot of requests from users wanting to use their own custom registration marks. So the first thing I'll do is just go ahead and take a look at how we can make our own registration mark. Then we'll see how we can use that in Simple Steps. And I'll just come over here. First thing I'm gonna do is just create a circle. Hold down shift and control so that'll be a perfect circle. I'll go ahead and change the outline for that to say 10 points. I'll go to arrange and we'll select convert outline to object. Then I'm gonna go ahead and get the rectangle tool. Let's create a simple rectangle here right about the same thickness as the actual circle there. Go ahead and bring this to say right about there. I'll go ahead and duplicate this right there. I'll take these two and I'll just go ahead and weld these. Then let's go ahead and rotate, rotate and duplicate. Click right one, right mouse button one time and I'll duplicate that. I'll select all of these together. I'll hit weld and I'll just come here and I'll get C and E and I'll go ahead and weld these again. Now here I've got an RGB fill and I'm not going to want that. So I'll come over here and I'll just go to my uniform fill. I'm going to go to models. I'll come down here and I'll select registration color and I'll select OK. I can see that's now filled with 100% registration color. If there was an outline on there, I'd probably want to take that off. Go ahead and size that up to about the size I'm going to want it for my separations on my pages. Probably be right about here, more or less. You could set that up any size you want it to be. Go ahead and cut that. So I'll hit Control X. I'm going to get a new document here and I'll select OK. Go ahead and hit Control V. We'll paste that in. We'll hit P to center that on the page. Then I'll go File and I'll save this. And I'll save this as my reg mark on my desktop. Go ahead and select Save already prepped that for the video. Go ahead and close this now. I'm going to go here to page two in this document. Go ahead and go to advanced tools, simple steps four. Come over here to color separations. This is ready to go. I'll go to my reg marks. I can actually browse here to the desktop. I'll select my reg mark, select OK. I can also select where I want these to be set up, corner, middle, corner and middle, or center which this is really a combination of these two here. And we'll go ahead and set this up here, corner and middle for this. Now once you set these, it'll save it for you. And then if I go ahead and click on Generate Separations, you'll see that now Simple Steps will generate my color separation for my own custom registration marks the way I'd like to have them set up. And as you can see right there's my separations. Now I just did this as vector, just a simple separation. We didn't convert to halftones, but you can see now we've got our custom registration marks set up in Simple Steps Smart Rip version 4.0. So go ahead and wrap here concerning our custom registration marks for our Simple Steps version 4.0.